Hi, this is Jeff Jensen with Co-Engineers Tech Support, and in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to transform an animation path in SOLIDWORKS Composer. While we won't actually transform the existing path, what we'll actually do is create a non-associated path from it, and then we're going to recreate the animation based on this transform path. Uh, so to get started here, what we'll demonstrate in this example is we're going to move this existing animation path back on the y-axis. Um, so to get started, what you'll want to do is first create a non-associated path from your current animation path. So to do that, we'll go to our Author tab, then to Paths, and we want to select uh, Create Non-Associated Path from Animation. This will allow us to transform this path. Um, so we'll select both the actor and then control select the path that you want to transform. Here we've already got our transform uh, translate operation selected. So we can go ahead and transform these back on the y-axis. You'll notice that I've also got auto keys on. Uh, this will be helpful and, and needed, especially when creating the animation uh, path when creating the new animation path from this existing path. Um, so to actually recreate the animation now of just this actor to transform it back, we'll actually delete the existing keys of just these two, not the starting one, since we've already transformed that back. Then we just need to put our time where we want this animation to end at it was two seconds. So now we can create a new animation based on this path so that the actor follows this transform path. So we'll go to our Animate tab, and then we'll do Create uh, from Line. So there's two options here. You can do Create Path from Line with a linear speed. So this maintains a constant speed on the path. Uh, the other option is Create Path Line uh, with linear time. This would make it so that it spends the same amount of time between each key. Uh, so we'll just do the linear speed, and then we just need to pick our path here. Make sure we get that. There we go. And now you can see that it created the animation. You'll also notice that it doesn't exactly create the keys in the same position, because uh, we have to keep in mind that we're not transforming the existing path, but we're actually creating a new one. Um, and I've also noticed this works best when uh, your path uh, under animation for your property here is set to either linear or smooth. Sometimes if you do custom, uh, you can get uh, undesired results from that. Uh, so we can easily go back and play our animation. Let's get the selection there. Turn that back on. And we see that we've transformed the animation path for that actor. Well, that takes care of this uh, quick tip demonstration on transforming a path uh, by creating a non-associated path and then creating a new animation from that line. I hope you enjoyed watching. And again, this is Jeff Jensen with Gonjuris Tech Support. Thanks for watching.